There are 8 moon phases in Minecraft. The first night is always a full moon and every night it follows the pattern where the day number modulo 8 has the appropriate moon phase. These moon phases are not just visual changes. Each moon phase has an assigned factor which impacts some of the mobs spawning as well as the local difficulty of the game. The brighter the moon, the higher the factor. And naturally spawning mobs get some tiny buffs. In the swamp biome, the amount of slimes is directly proportional to the moon factor. So the most slimes will spawn during full moon, but during new moon they cannot spawn because the moon phase factor is equal to zero. They can still spawn on slime chunks underground, but not in swamps. Cats. There are 11 cat variants in the game and the rarest one is all black. It can only spawn on full moons, so only 1 out of 8 days. Does the cat have a 1 in 11 chance of spawning? And the local difficulty of the game. It gets calculated through this algorithm, which takes into account the world's difficulty, the amount of ticks passed since the start of the game, the amount of ticks spent with a specific chunk loaded, and the current moon phase. When you press F3, next to the local difficulty it actually shows your effective difficulty. And the second value is your special multiplier, which is a lot more important. If you have the easy difficulty selected, then this value will always be zero. On normal, at the start of the world it will be zero, but it can go up after about 24 days. But only in a chunk that was loaded for those 24 days. The chunk inhabited time is actually calculated cumulatively, meaning if you have two players spent one hour on the same chunk, then it's like if one player spent two hours on that chunk. The special multiplier is capped at one, and on hard it starts at 0.125. And also caps at 1. Now, what does the special multiplier actually change? Because it doesn't directly make mobs stronger, their damage is not affected, the changes are more mob specific. For example, the chances of a mob wearing armor is equal to exactly special multiplier times 15%. So for example, if the special multiplier is equal to 0, then mobs cannot spawn with armor. Similarly with enchantments, so for every item that a mob has, there's a special multiplier times 50% chance that the item will be enchanted. Special multiplier also increases the chances of a zombie being a leader zombie, which look the same as normal zombies but have some stat improvements that are honestly hard to notice. Leader zombies have a significantly higher chance of summoning reinforcements when they are hit. Reinforcement zombies are similar to naturally spawned zombies, except that they can spawn anywhere and will immediately target you, even in creative mode. Leader zombies have between 40 to 100 max HP, but their base HP is still 20, so unless you're splashing them with an instant damage potion, their HP is just 20? I don't know what Mojang was cooking here, and Mojang just said, that's not a bug, that's a feature. So leader zombies are only technically stronger. The chance of spawning them is 5% times the special multiplier. For spiders, on hard mode, there's a 10% times the special multiplier chance of spawning with exactly one of those four good potion effects. For skeletons, only their gear changes, so they have a 25 times special multiplier percent chance of having an enchanted bow, and all enchants on mobs gear are decided using the same method as enchanting tables, ranging from 5 to 5 plus 17 times the special multiplier. So the highest level is 20 second, which can spawn on mobs gear when the special multiplier is equal 1. And so, these are the strongest enchants a mob can spawn with. It's impossible to find a skeleton that naturally spawns with a power 4 bow. And the strongest armor is protection 3 or projectile protection 4. Unless it's gold armor, then it can be protection 4. Anything golden always gets better results when enchanting. And statistically, full gold armor is the most probable to be worn by a mob. As for the rest of the mobs that don't use any gear, special multiplier doesn't really change anything. So, all of the differences are very subtle. The special multiplier makes mobs only a tiny bit stronger overall. Most mobs don't change, but the ones that do may just spawn with a flame bow or a piercing crossbow. Minecraft is just full of those details that you didn't even know have impact. Yeah. Also, my research finds that happy viewers have a 15% chance of getting a girlfriend. Which isn't much, but it's more than zero, so you might wanna consider subscribing. Bye!